Here, this is my buddy John. <laughs> so, so John said he has a lot of, well, a decent amount of older video game stuff, yeah. right? A little bit of older video game stuff. He says he has a crap ton of older toys. So I told him I'd take a look and we'll figure out what we can make a deal on. But I ended up working with John at my last job after we got laid off. We haven't really talked much, but he reached out to me. He knew I did this kind of stuff. So the door's locked, so we can't get in. <laughs> but very nice place you got here, John. Seriously, it's, a, it's very quaint. It's out in the backwoods. It's quiet. It's very quiet, but it's nice. This place is awesome. Oh my god. Dude, I need a house like this. You know how much activities we could do down here, dude? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dodgeball down here. We used to like chuck all kinds of airsoft. Dude, you got Hot Wheels. Yeah, I do. I have to see which ones those are. I I'll let you pull out this. I'm not going to just dig through your shit. So no, I'll I, let you. Like, if you see something. I see Wii, Wii controllers. Yeah, those. And then I actually have a Wii. This is the this is the, the coolest thing I got I think anyway. To me. No, I thought I thought that was really neat. I've never seen one like. Yeah, that. and then I got Spiral. The only thing that's missing to play it's uh. This is probably a good game, dude. Yeah, I don't know if it's even in there. Let's see. Yeah, that was a pretty good game. GameCube. I got a GameCube too. Pokemon Coliseum. Is this for the GameCube? It's a demo. Still. <laughs> that's cool as hell. This is the steal of the day, ain't it, John? Oh yeah. I love it. Yeah, I got this. What do you got here? This dope. I got a. Uh, he's Hulk Hogan with his arms broken, but it's kind of neat. That's not bad, dude. And then That's all those cool. binocles I have. I have all the cases for them. What is that? No way. Oh, dude, that's the Pokemon cards. I hope. And the Yu Gi Oh cards. Ooh, Ooh the Yu Gi Oh looks minty man sauce oh that one was probably something i don't know let me see it it's holographic it's not that bad a shape bud yeah they lieutenant look, surge's electro buzz not bad. they look really yellow when they're all stacked together well they, they they do have yellow on them all right guys so i popped the video off because we've been at this for what a solid yeah it's eight o'clock two hours at the very bare minimum yeah. two hours we've been you can see it's like dark outside. <laughs> We've just been digging this whole time. We finally got a pile together. It's 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 it's, it's an assortment of games and toys and just a whole bunch of different crap, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, he's got some bionicles. He say he wants to go through, build them all, put them all together in their uh, containers, and then maybe we would do a deal on that. And there's a couple other things I yeah. was trying to pull out of his hand because I I like I like <laughs> them. So uh, we have the PS One, right? Yep, with the screen. Which he said he said he got that because he was homeschooled and they gave that to him they to gave learn it to us and they gave us this really crappy little disc and it had like the simplest like I don't know just childhood crap learning programs and they were junk and they like barely worked so then we just bought games for them. <laughs> so awesome. I've never heard of a like a schooling yeah. given like PlayStation back and in stuff. the day they gave us like a budget and we would never spend it so we would just get on there and see what we could get. And then and that was you could buy a PlayStation 1. I, yeah, we used to play it in the car too. It was awesome. Yeah. So he has a lot of stuff here that's like all empty like boxes, like a Nintendo DS box, Mario Kart Wii, which we actually have the game and the controller. I think that's all that came in that. Um, like a Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 game manual. Just a lot of good stuff to have at home. Like all these are empty, the Green Day albums, but I, I just wanted them. Um, and then obviously the Foster sign, look, GameCube box, it comes with the GameCube. Uh, he found an old Xbox original, no cords or anything, but that's always decent. So what are you thinking on it? Dude, I don't know. Just give me a fair price, and if I think that you're being an asshole, I'll tell you. 100 bucks. That's a little too much. I'm just talking. No, that. you said you were supposed to call me an asshole. That's the yeah, reason why I threw the I was number. <laughs>
All right, so as you guys seen, I do a terrible job of keeping my batteries charged and the video cut straight out in the middle of me fake negotiating at first, but we ended up settling on $350 for all the stuff. I think I'm gonna get a good deal. I think I'm gonna get some amazing prices for the stuff. I'm gonna make money and John knows that. Everybody that has invited me to do this stuff with them knows that. But I do like to give a little bit up on the top because they know me and I know them. And I'd like to give them as much value as possible for their things. But one thing that I didn't get to show in the video and which actually makes this a $400 purchase is that the GameCube box that the GameCube was supposed to be in wasn't in there. At the end of it all, John said, hey, you want me to put that in the GameCube box? And I was like, yeah, man. So I opened that box up. And pull this out guys so Pokemon games with like the GBA games with their brand new boxes or what with their boxes and all the inserts and stuff which this one had unfortunately the game wasn't in here but I went ahead and purchased one to complete it $200 uh, I ended up giving John 50 because like I said it was just the box and everything inside of it I went ahead and purchased the game which was like another 45 to 50 dollars roughly somewhere right around in there so overall, I'm gonna be making a, a nice little chunk of change between 70 and $100 off of this. But I thought it was crazy. I pulled it out, I said, ah, bro, thank you, thank you so much for that. Cause we had already made the deal on the 350 for everything there. Neither one of us knew that this box, and there was a couple other boxes I ended up taking. They weren't great things, but they were a couple nice little boxes to have on hand just in case I got consoles like that. But uh, as you guys see, I've already placed the Foster Logger sign on my wall. I thought that was a super unique piece. It's worth about actually $50 plus shipping, but I, it was it was a keeper for me. Obviously, as you guys know, my channel is Foster the Picker, and my last name is Foster. Hence the reason why my channel's Foster the Picker. Anyway, it was a great experience. Thank you so much again, John. John did say he's got more stuff and eventually we will meet back up with him to get more things. But thank you, John, so much. And as always, guys, encourage others, develop yourself, and we'll see you guys in the next one.